guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. How you doing tonight? Listen, I wanted to do a, a short video. I wanted to show you, um, I changed my format a little bit on uh, my, my sales for the month. I'm just gonna do a rolling 30 days and I'm picking like five or six items every month to highlight certain items that I dug out of the thrift stores or garage sales or estate sales, wherever I got them from. Um, and I'm gonna show you a few here in a minute in the computer. Uh, uh, some good, some good scores, and you always went. You know, when you're looking at it, I'm trying to keep that $45 and up average selling price to help me. Now, mind you, I did sell items that were less than $45, but when you look at the month, you know, if you're selling stuff for $150 and something for $30, you know, it, it, you got to get that medium in between. Also, news out of the U.S. on eBay. eBay's going to a different um, selling or, or um, how do I put this? A different payment program other than PayPal. It's a beta program right now from what I understand. Either you're on or off. If you're on, then you'll be dealing with, I believe, uh, eBay directly, and they'll be using Apple Play, Google Pay, sorry, Apple Pay, Google Pay, all these other formats, but you're not able then to use PayPal ever again until they reintroduce PayPal later or earlier in 2019. News in Canada, not here yet. When we're gonna get it, I have no idea. So um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Actually, my Google Home's talking to me. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll when I get more information on it, I'll let you know. I'm not switching. I'm sticking with PayPal right now, even if it comes our way. Um, but you know, the really interesting thing about it, uh, you know, how you can go on PayPal and take your money in one day, two days, or three days, whatever how you're ever set up with eBay, they put the money the next day in your bank account automatically. It's very interesting. Um, and it's interesting to see how fast that actually works. Anyways, guys, let me push pause, turn it on to my other, uh, turn it on to my computer here, and I'll show you the few things that uh, I highlighted, what I bought and what I sold and what I sold them for. Give me a sec. Okay, guys, we're back. Here we go. Let's take a look here. First item, Panasonic. DMR ES15 DVD recorder. This is one of the ones I bought out of that uh, video I showed you. I bought, you know, I think I bought five that day. Um, I think I paid, I don't know, 10 to 14 bucks uh, each or 20 bucks was the most for one of them. This is one of the ones that sold. Uh, I sold it for $69.99. No remote. They sell guys with no remote. Look for these DVD recorders, guys. They sell very well. Pull that up a little bit. Mega Blocks. There it is. Mega Blocks. Um, this is the countdown set. This is the open box one. Um, I didn't sell it for 130. I sold it for actually 110. It was uh, a best offer. Um, I accepted it. Um, but again, I, I can't remember what I paid, guys. If we look back in the middle, we paid five bucks, six bucks, whatever, ten bucks. Uh, Good score right there. Keep looking out for these Mega Blocks Halo retired sets. You get really good money for them. The 3D puzzle. Remember this one, guys. I was asking, let's see if I can fix it. I get it here in a better. I was asking 219. Um, I took a best offer of 150 on this. Uh, again, guys, I think I paid what five bucks for it, ten bucks, I can't remember. Uh, 150 and I made a little bit of shipping so these 3d puzzles this one if you remember it was completely sealed take a look there's the factory seal on it right there on the whole thing so that was a good one remember this one guys this was that bone healing system uh, it sold for over 300 I actually sold it um, for a hundred I took a hundred for it uh, went to a guy who, who needed it, he actually was going to use it for healing his bro broken bone. Uh, when I had it, the item turned on, it worked fine. He got it. I had to return it. He said it wasn't working. There was an error code. So I sent him a um, return label. And this is, I just want to give you a story on returns here. Uh, and I took it back. And then, you know what? I think I paid 20 something bucks for it. I relisted it the next day. And for parts or not working, let me show you. So right here pre-owned for parts and not working and it sold for $39.99 pretty much the next day so there you go guys even if these items that you're you know if you get a return and it's broken or you didn't couldn't test it like I couldn't test this because I 
didn't have the right, um, uh, and I can't remember what they called it. Uh, the doctor puts it on your cast so it would read. Anyways, it doesn't make it doesn't make a difference. But again, look, I resold it again and I got my money back and I broke even. So don't be afraid to sell things uh, as is, uh, parts only, non-working. You can't sell them. Unique things like this will resell all the time. Bought two of these. I don't know if you remember this, guys. Uh, I think I showed you guys in a video. I think I paid twenty dollars for each of them. So this one for $119.99. It's a Exo Terra dual top fluorescent and halogen terrarium canopy PT2232. You look on Amazon.ca, I believe this sells for over 200. I have it for 119. Uh, you got another one still uh, left. I haven't sold it yet. No light bulbs included. That's how they come. Uh, so you know what these are. If you've got a lizard or, or whatever, one of those type of pets, they go in those aquariums. Uh, this is the lid that goes on top, and it, it's you put install the specially light bulbs. That's what that is. Okay, move on to the next one. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to remember what I paid for this. When when I go into a thrift store, guys. I always, always, always browse the jackets or the, or the spring jackets or the lace jackets, and I've always come across great finds. This is uh, Campiano, Campagnolo, whatever I can't pronounce it. It's a it's a thermo cycling jacket. It's for cyclists. Um, I bought this at the Brampton Salvation Army. I think I paid twelve bucks, around twelve bucks, no more than twenty. I know. Actually, yeah, I paid. I think I paid twenty, and I had a coupon when I bought it with something else. I sold it for seventy nine ninety nine. The thing was beautiful, excellent condition. Always look out for unique, weird, standout jackets like this. You will always make a good buck. So there you have it, guys. There's what five, six items I wanted to show you um, that I sold for good money. Uh, again, there's a lot, lot more. Uh, this is just highlighting certain things. I. I I'm hoping that you're interested in, and then when you're out in a thrift store and you're picking, you're going to be looking for things like this. Hold on, let me turn the camera around and we'll, we'll summarize this, uh, this video up. Okay, guys, here we go. There you go. A few items that I found that you would, I thought, I think you would be interested in finding on your uh, trips out to the thrift store. Anyways, guys, uh, if you like the video, big, give me the big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thank you to all my uh, new subscribers really helps me a lot um, and everybody that's commenting below thank you I will respond to the comics best I can uh, please keep them coming and you'll see there's a my logo which is Chris's treasure chest if you hit that button you can subscribe instantly from this screen right now and click on the next video that you see on my screen that'll take you to another great video from Chris's treasure chest anyways guys until next time we will talk have a great night until next time